The Vesuva tank is a vehicle that travels at 80 km per hour, accommodates up to 10 people, has 580 mm of ground clearance, and boasts an engine with up to 383 horsepower. It's not exactly a combat vehicle. Rather, the Vesuva tank is designed for both recreational and commercial purposes. Test drives are available upon request. While the company hasn't disclosed the price, online sources suggest it's around $76,000. Production is planned in modest batches of 15 units per year. Interestingly, operating the Vesuva tank requires a tractor driver's license, as it's quite different from driving a regular car. Segway Power Sports proudly presents the supervillain, the pinnacle of hybrid off-road vehicles. Being at the forefront of hybrid SSV format vehicles, they've planted their flag firmly at the top. Their success story includes the supervillain SX20 Hybrid, showcased in Milan, a global fashion hub, setting the trend for others to follow. It boasts 330 horsepower, an automatic transmission, a 53cm suspension stroke, and a payload of 336 kilograms. It's priced at around $40,000. Once upon a time, Stebix wanted to create a versatile vehicle for your fishing trips, camping adventures, or days out at the beach. And they didn't disappoint. Behold the 250UC, Stabix's latest amphibious boat. It's quite the marvel, with a capacity for engines up to 450 horsepower and seating for seven. On land, it stands tall at nearly three meters, thanks to a second 40 horsepower engine. Operating it feels like driving a car, and the controls are pretty straightforward. Plus, it comes fully loaded with standard features like a refrigerator, a stereo, and a live bait tank. All of this will impress even the most discerning buyers. The price is about $450,000. If boats and ATVs seem overly pricey, consider the Draxter Profi 2.0 motorcycle priced at $1,142. While its specs might not stand out compared to other gear, it's still capable of reaching speeds of up to 45 km per hour thanks to its modest 13 horsepower engine. Weighing in at 90 kg, it has its advantages. After all, not only models are worried about weight, but off-road enthusiasts too. Let us introduce the Tinger TF4, which seems like the big brother of the previous motorcycle. This all-terrain vehicle doesn't just suggest adventure, it practically shouts, let's head into that swamp. Powered by a 57 horsepower engine and sporting tires towering over an adult's chest, it reaches speeds of up to 60 km per hour on land and up to 5 km per hour on water. Plus, it's reliable even in freezing temperatures down to minus 30 degrees Celsius, and it can tackle hills with a 45 degree incline and overcome obstacles up to 70 centimeters high. With its articulated frame, the Tinger TF4 aims to win hearts and wallets. Good luck, because it comes with a price tag starting at $23,700. Snowcats are specialized tracked vehicles used for grooming ski slopes. You might think there's not much innovation in the snowcat market. However, Prinneth has managed to surprise everyone, not once, but twice. They've introduced the first snowcat with a hydrogen internal combustion engine, boasting an impressive 460 horsepower, comparable to many diesel models. Compressed hydrogen is stored in cylinders at around 700 bar of pressure. With just a 20-minute refueling, it can operate for up to four hours. 
Printf engineers deserve a round of applause for coming up with this eco-friendly, cost-effective and stylish solution. Are you keeping up with the Extreme E series? It's essentially an electric SUV racing competition. One of the key rules is that all teams must use the Odyssey 21 vehicle, with limited modifications allowed only to its appearance and components. McLaren seems unfazed by this restriction, as they don't have their own truly off-road vehicle yet. They just need to apply their signature colors, recruit drivers, and harness the power of the two 544 horsepower engines. The Odyssey 21 can go from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 4.5 seconds. Just imagine the thrill and challenge of racing this beast across the glaciers of Greenland or the deserts of Saudi Arabia. The electric revolution is reshaping transportation, and scooters are no exception. Just take a look at where they're heading. Meet the Envo E-ATV, a four-wheeled engineering marvel that's revolutionizing outdoor work and play. Its performance matches that of an ATV, boasting two hub motors with one and a half kilowatts each. That means that you can hit speeds of up to 50 kilometers per hour. Plus, it can handle loads of up to 200 kilograms and tow up to 350 kilograms. With a full charge, you'll get a range of 70 kilometers. The Envo EATV comes with a price tag of $6,100. The business of the Wide Open Design Team seems quite intriguing. They specialize in components for assembling and repairing off-road equipment. For instance, a Rock Bouncer X-Frame costs $7,300, which is more than the ATV mentioned earlier. However, it's perfect for building a buggy like this. It features a powerful 6-liter Chevy engine and impressive Super Swamper tires. Some modifications were needed to ensure a proper fit, but it paid off. Not every buggy sports 1.3-meter wheels. Meet the H2O Salamander, the world's first amphibious trike, proudly invented in the Philippines. It's not just a fun vehicle, but a solution to a crucial problem. With around 26,000 small Filipino settlements located in flood-prone areas, there's a need for amphibious transportation for tasks like evacuation, delivering humanitarian aid, and patrolling. On land, the H2O Salamander can reach speeds of up to 80 km per hour, while on water, it cruises at up to 11 km per hour. It can carry either six or four passengers, and comes with the option of a gasoline or an electric engine, exactly what's needed in a country facing about 19 storms every year. Meet the Electroway T1S, your all-weather scooter solution. Facing snow drifts, just attach a ski in the front and a track in the back. Once the snow melts, swap the track for a wheel. When it's warm and dry, switch to two wheels. It's as practical as it sounds, especially with a top speed of 40 km per hour and a battery range of 50 km. Admittedly, it weighs a hefty 38 kilograms, and the price tag is on the higher side at $1,469. Over in the US, Aerowake Boats specializes in crafting airboats. They believe in catering to every customer's needs, so each model is tailor-made to their specifications. Whether it's a fishing boat with luxury seats and cup holders, or a rugged service vehicle focused on functionality, they've got it covered. Need something powerful like a 1500 horsepower engine? Look no further. 
From length and reinforced hulls to drive and propeller options, design and seating arrangements, you name it, and Aero Wake boats will make it happen. Meet the Extreme V, capable of traversing 80% of Earth's terrain, from deserts to snow, mud, and the Alps. It's a civilian version of military tracked ATVs like the Bronco and Warthog. The Extreme V serves various purposes, from rescuing tourists to delivering aid or transporting doctors to remote areas. With the ability to climb 45 degree slopes, tackle potholes and dips up to 2 meters long, and carry up to 4 tons of payload, it's a versatile machine. Capable of accelerating up to 60 km per hour, it can also be equipped with either a water jet or modified into a passenger car thanks to its modular system. The Ford F-150 is solid on its own, but with tracks, it's truly exceptional. Even American rally driver Ken Block had one, equipped with a Boss V8 engine, no less. Would you dare to take the wheel, knowing there's over 650 horsepower waiting to be unleashed? If you're serious about this kind of upgrade, be prepared to shell out around $85,000. Surprisingly, it's quite popular with numerous variations showcased on YouTube. Sure, it might take a fair bit of work and money to transform your Ford, but come snowfall, your neighbors will be lining up with gifts just to get their cars out of the snowdrifts. It's time to awaken the dragon. Not a living one, but a mechanical marvel. Allow us to introduce Draco, a new chapter in the evolution of light aviation. It's an upgraded version of the Polish PZL-104 Vilga airplane. From a training model, it's been transformed into a bush plane, capable of landing and taking off from almost anywhere. Draco offers versatility like no other vehicle, needing only 24 meters for takeoff and 30 meters for landing. It can be fueled with jet fuel, diesel, or various mixes, and boasts an impressive range of 1,609 kilometers with a cruising speed of 290 kilometers per hour. Unfortunately, this unique airplane experienced a crash in 2019. Thankfully, no one was injured, and the makers have embarked on a reconstruction project called Draco X. Interestingly, a dragon is essentially a large lizard. Who knows, maybe the Draco airplane and the Chugzilla tractor share a common ancestor. According to the description, this impressive tractor with its tracked design is powered by a GM LSL-94 engine. This engine was used by General Motors in SUVs and trucks around 12 years ago. The beauty of it is that it's easily upgradable. You can add nitrous oxide, advanced cams, turbines, and more. Plus, straight from the factory, the engine delivers a hefty 403 horsepower. With all these features, Chugzilla is sure to bring its owner a lot of satisfaction. DIYers are truly imaginative. It's fascinating. No matter what kind of vehicle we showcase, there's always something equally impressive out there. Take, for instance, this buggy inspired by a tank. Gaming enthusiasts might already recognize it from PUBG Battlegrounds. While it may be weak and vulnerable, it's undeniably fast. But why settle for mere imitation when you can build yourself a transforming buggy? In winter, it's equipped with tracks, and in summer, it switches to wheels. And to top it off, the creator even added a bucket. Why not? It might come in handy for snow removal after all. This is how the Creechet X310 all-terrain vehicle undergoes testing. 
From bogs to snow and even water, it must be prepared for anything. That's why there are numerous changes compared to other models. The Creature X310 boasts a new space frame made of thin-walled pipes, a revamped suspension, and a fresh rear transfer case. As a result, it's become simpler and lighter, estimated at around 2.5 tons. It's also equipped with new 1600 by 680 tires, which perform well on soft terrain. The less tough tread allows for gentler driving on vegetation and provides a smoother ride on asphalt. Moreover, it's expected to achieve a cruising speed of around 60 to 70 kilometers per hour on the highway. The first production all-terrain vehicle, Mud Ox, was built in the US back in 2008. Even without extensive advertising, a website, or other typical attributes of successful sales, it gained recognition as far away as Australia. Nowadays, you can purchase the new Mud Ox for $50,000. Let's take a ride on the XL model and see what it's all about. Perhaps buyers are drawn to its 57 or 85 horsepower engine, or maybe it's the ability to seamlessly transition from land to water, cruising at 5 km per hour. All-wheel drive is another plus, especially when you add tracks to the wheels. Plus, its payload capacity is impressive – 907 kg on land and 454 kg on water. The GMC Canyon 84X pickup truck isn't afraid to take on off-road challenges. This version comes equipped with cool Multimatic DSSV shock absorbers, locking differential and mud-ready tires. Its 310 horsepower engine pairs perfectly with a ground clearance of 271 mm. And if you've ever wondered about the view underneath while driving, GMC has added a couple of special cameras. Anything else you're missing? Well, there's an even tougher version available, the Canyon 84X AEV. It comes with 310mm of ground clearance and five steel plates covering the underbody. 